Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, we'll be discussing Gina Seco Life Care Limited Q2 FI25 result as well as Concord. Okay, so first let us understand the business model and what had they guided for in the year of FI24. That is FI24 H2 FI24 ka end me kya guide kiya tha and have they been on track in H1 FI25? Okay, so first let us understand the business model. I will just share the screen over here uh, and I will wrap it up you know quickly. Uh, and also, if you want to understand the business model in detail, just search Gina C Corp right now on YouTube or just go to my business analysis playlist. You'll find over there. I've explained everything in detail, like what is the business model? What is, you know, the how is it different from other hospitals and everything? Okay. So Gina C Corp, as you can see, is an Ayurvedic hospital. OK, you cannot really compare it to the traditional allopathy hospitals uh, uh, that are there, uh, uh, such as yeah, yeah, Thart, Max, yeah, Apollo, Narayan, Trudale. OK, so this is an Ayurvedic hospital. So there are two types of business uh, business segments for them one is the services and the other one is products okay so in products you can see what they do is they sell medicines Unka ek, oh, the different kind of medicines jo hota hai, piles ka medicine you know could be some cough medicines cold medicines these are the kind of medicines that they sell and here they do it uh, through telecalling e-commerce and like you told like franchising uh, se bhi karte hai. now this segment contributes around 47 percent of to their revenue okay now the services based businesses that are there is the main part of the business as of now, this is contributing around 50, 53% as of H1FI 25. Okay? Now, if you look over here, what do they do? They hospitals and clinics and daycare. Hai. Clinics and daycare, mein difference kya hai? let's say clinic is, you know, let's say if you have a cough or cold, you know, it's a one-time kind of medicine, you're going there, you know, for a checkup. Daycare is, let's say, you know, where you, let's say you have a, you know, where you have to go every day continuously for a period of time, let's say seven to eight days. Maybe you are having some hand pain and you have to go for some physiotherapy kind of, kind of situation over there. So you have to visit to you know uh, maybe for a period of time could be for seven days ten days you're visiting that is called your daycare and then you have your hospitals which is like let's say when the when the disease is a bit bigger and cannot be solved either through clinics or through daycare businesses then what happens is you go to hospitals where they cure like a bigger a bigger a bit bigger diseases that are there where you require a kind of an admission and have to stay for a prolonged period of time right this is where you have to go to hospitals so this is more or less the business like i told you I'm just going to stop present. Okay. Like I told you over here, uh, if you just want to understand everything in depth, I've explained from the founder, you know, I've done a very detailed PPT on, on Jena Seco. Just go to business analysis playlist in my YouTube. I'll also link it in my description box below. Uh, so you guys can go and just watch that. I would say watch it until the guidance part, what they have what they have given for this entire year, FI 24-25. Skip the valuation part and everything. Just watch till the uh, the guidance part. Okay. Now let us, like I told you, what have they guided for in in, in fi24 okay in fi24 h2 that is six months ago they told k like this sal jo hai this this year fi24 25 may we are going to achieve 450 crore in sale that is point number one 450 crore in sale they wanted to achieve second the pat margin that is there is going to be 25 percentage they're going they're aiming towards 25 percent pat margin so from that calculation we got ke like unka jo unka jo pat jo hai should come up to between 103 crore to 120 crore ka pat is something they should be doing okay so this was the guidance in terms of revenue in terms of the hospital metrics that you see right like like I told you they have two businesses, right? Two segments of the businesses that they have. One segment is their hospital based business, and the other segment is their product based business. In the hospital based business, as of FI24, the hospitals got beds, they had around 1273 beds. One, two, seven, three. 1273 beds stuff and this beds had an occupancy of 38 percentage okay? and they told ke like is saal mein hum log 50 percent ka occupancy target kare with this 1273 beds okay they wanted to increase occupancy from 38 to 50 percentage they wanted to take the rpop to 8100 say 8600 the second thing they wanted to do was they wanted to add another 500 beds so 1273 ke upar they wanted to add another 500 beds okay that is what the target was okay? Now let us see in Q in Q2 of FI25, H1 of FI25, how have they done? Okay. So pehla baat karte in terms of top line. Okay. Top line, if you see the sales that is there on a year-on-year -year basis, that is, if you look at this, this um uh, this H1 was this last H1. Okay. If you look at it. Uh, because see, this is a small cap, right? They give result only on Q2 and Q4, like H1 and H2. Hota hai. So if you look H1, when I tell here, year on year, please remember it is H1 of this year versus H1 of last year. Okay? If you look at it, the sales has grown by 36% on a year on year basis. If you look at the PAT, the PAT has grown by 47% on a year on year basis. So overall, a 
very good amount of operating leverage, right? Like I told you, unka tha, 450 crore they have to do in terms of revenue for the full year, which means what they have to do at least half of it in this H1. Na, and you will see they have done exactly that 220 crore ka, uh, 218 crore ka revenue. Kiya hai, okay? EBITDA also, if you see, EBITDA is also very stable, 28 percentage. Hai. Last time H1, it was 29 percentage. Not much of a difference. You have to also remember here, ki, like, yeah, pe or beds addition ho rahe. as a result, you know, in spite of this bed ka addition, they're not doing any QIP, they not have taken any debt, they're all doing it with internal accruals. In spite of that, yeah, pe aap dekh sakte ho, EBITDA has been quite stable only. Okay? Now, coming back to the most important part, like I told you, in the hospital ka metrics, you have to look. So, what are the metrics you have to look? Aapko occupancy dekhna padega, aapko RPOP dekhna padega, right? Agar aap occupancy dekhte ho, like I told you, 38% se unka tha target 50% karna in one year, pura saal mein. Unhone, and I still remember this call in um, in, 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 in the FI24 ka call, you know, where Acharya Manish had told ki like, mera to pura ka pura ke liha pe occupancy ka hai, mein teen mahine mein kya chai, pura saal chodo, teen mahine mein mein occupancy ko 38 se 50 percent karunga, aur is occupancy se hi mera pad jo hai, bade ka 100 crore tak, thik hai, and exactly that is what has happened, if you look at the, if you look at the occupancy, 38 percent jo tha, abhi 50 percent ho chuka hai in, in H1, okay, already they have completed in H1, which was pura saal ka target, now one more thing to, uh, thing to note down over here, uh, I told you, right, they have to add 500 beds in this year, but they've added already 250 beds. In H1, they've added 250 beds. Okay. Now, one thing to note down over here, right, jab aapka occupancy jo hai, right, if it were, let's say, if this new, if let's say this 250 beds they haven't added, they only, jo FI24 ka base mein tha, 1273 beds agar hota, then that occupancy would have been 65% today. But you can see, right, beds are also increasing over here. As a result, you can see occupancy jo hai is coming here at 50%, 51%, although it has increased. 38 percentage from FI24 ka H2 say is after six months in H1 of FI25, 51 percent it has increased. But again, I'm just repeating this again. I don't know if you all are able to make sense. Yeah, pe jo base jo hai, base pe bad gaya hai. Earlier 28, 1273 beds tha. Now 1273 plus 250, right? Uh, 1273 plus 250. Yeah, now the beds are 1523 beds. So, of course, right, occupancy is nothing but you see out of the total beds, how many beds are occupied. Now, yaha pe, as you can see, beds be occupancy be badta ja rahe, but at the same time, the number of addition of beds, aapka jo denominator, aapka base hai, wo bhi badta hi ja rahe, right? So, ultimately, here also you can see, ke, like, you know, occupancy could have been much greater. It could have been more than 55 percentage also, but since the denominator is also is increased, you th this is one thing to consider. RPOP also is quite stable over here. If you see, unka bhi 8,100 pe hai, what they have also guided for for the entire year this is the RPOP is also quite now the other thing the uh, the other thing over here the few things i'll tell you what has been happening in the call call that has been quite quite interesting okay pehla cheez hai like unka jo uh, unka jo hospital hai like if you look at their hospitals uh, like i told you right they are, they are targeting 500 beds bola tha at the start of the year for this entire year now they're telling probably this 500 beds can go up to 600 to 750 also so they had a they had a target to achieve 2100 beds by fi26 not this year by next year okay and now there is a there can be a scene where we are seeing 2100 beds happening in this year itself probably you know like probably they'll have 600 to 750 beds in the coming in in, in this coming you know, in this coming year only not 500 could be 750 also that is one thing uh, the other thing is if you look at their hospitals right sara ka sara hospitals jo hai now an another benefit they are getting is earlier if you see this uh, ayurvedic treatments that are there it was not under empanelment none of these insurance were having this empanelment if you look at this government me, you know, you have this different policy, right? ECHS, CHS, BSF, you know, none of these people also, they didn't have any empanelment towards Ayurvedic. Recently, Supreme Court has given an order ki, like all of the insurance, jo hai, they have to allow even uh, even Ayurvedic treatment to come under cashless hospital. So this has happened. Along with that, along with that, State government and central government are also making mandatory to make sure that all this ECHS, Sara ka Sara scheme hota hai na, this also to be empaneled over here for Ayurvedic treatment also. Okay, now the caveat for this is if you have to get empanelment, especially for government empanelment, agar aapko chahiye, then all of your hospitals that are there has to be accredited with this certification called NABH, okay, which is like a crema de crema certification for your for your hospitals. You have to be able to do that. Now, here in Ka. Already 33 hospitals of theirs have got this NABH accreditations. Now, in the upcoming month, which is the month, November or December, mein, by this month, 
another four hospitals will get accreditations. So last year, 24 of their hospitals has NADH accreditations. This year, 33 hospitals plus by the end of the year, four, 30, 39 hospitals to 40 hospitals will have NADH accreditations. Okay. So overall, you can see like here, accreditations jitna badta hai, unka government empanelment badega, and of course, cashless treatment bhi aajayega from insurance. So there has been a lot of tailwind also from here by, you know, by government making it cashless, making it mandatory in the insurance by, uh, by government government campanel might be hona thi kya pe so here another stream another additional stream of revenue will happen because see earlier what used to happen is let's say when when this ayush treatments were not included in this in this cashless hospitals now so what used to people used to not would, wouldn't go right because it's not included in their insurance you have to like you have to shell from your own pocket now the fact that this has been included in your insurance right now people would be more ready to go to the to these treatments you know then they can go get a reimbursement over there also so overall an, another good thing okay another thing on expansion like i told you right these People are targeting like uh, Acharya Manish, who is a founder over here. He was talking about how they're looking for acquisitions, right? Probably in Dubai, Vietnam, London, USA, Australia. Now they're going to go international. This is also something they're considering. Probably, uh, you know, uh, uh, something you're looking forward to. Okay. So um, other than that, if you if you if you see, right? Uh, so this is entire in their hospital part of the business. Now, if you look at the product part of the business, as you all know, earlier in the product part of the business, agar aap dekhte ho, they were planning to in, uh, planning to introduce over the counter like earlier unka jo, uh, unka jo treatment ka, you know whatever the medicine products were there either you have their dedicated you know you could find it in their daycare or clinics or you have their franchises or it, it was done through telecom and e-commerce these were the three sources from which you can get their medicines now they're planning to do over the counter now agar up over the counter ko medicines you have to give you have to do a lot of r d and everything right you have to get approval also from icmr right now i, I really like the way acharya manish you know the way he conducts himself in concord he's like they go all of these people you know they don't believe in ayurveda they believe in research they believe in you know in papers in scientific research so unko jo basha mein unko samajh mein aata hai main usi basha mein unko bolunga so is getting it all this research papers patent and everything done and all of their all of their um, products that are there is waiting you know uh, some products have been done approval by ic icmr uh, and by H2, uh, in this H2, that is, of course, we're already in H2, you will see these products being launched, okay? Uh, and iska jo ASP hai, which, which will be around 600 to 1200 ke range mein hoga, even this will be launched, even this will add on to the revenue. By the way, let me tell you this, 450 crore ka revenue, which target they have had, this was a target based only and only on the hospital side, on the occupancy. They have never considered this product side of the business. Now, when this product side of the business also will start adding to the revenue, I, I don't know how much, I think they can probably do much more than what they you know what they state okay because yeah if you look at the otc now uh, uh you, I, see the thing is you know you have to I, I will tell you guys one thing okay it doesn't matter if you are an investor or not looking to invest over here i just want you all to just go listen to the con call of gina seco life care listen to the last fi24 ka con call uh of h2 and this con call also just just i just want you to listen you will understand what it is like to have a passion in a business and give your blood sweat and tears to make sure that you know you you would you would know what it is like you know because when you run a business i run a business so i know your business is like a baby you would do anything and everything to see it grow right and you see that passion now you, you 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 just you just have to listen to him the way he talks the way he the way he conducts himself in the con call it's just pure passion was you know no jargon used pura dil se baat karta hai aadmi you know it is so nice to it is just so nice to listen to him the con call and you and you listen to him though in the con call and you track the business and you see the guidance the execution that is done it is so flawless so flawless i'm telling you right when i talk right over here you might not be able to to, you know, because if you have not listened to the con call, you might not be able to interpret it or understand the feel what I'm trying to give you. But you just have to listen to him in his con call. I think that is why he's a motivational speaker also. But just listen to him in the con call, and you just get to know what a what a brilliant man, what a brilliant founder he is. Okay. So coming back over here also, you know, like uh, he was talking in the in in the call, like you know, Joe products that they have, like there is no competitors for them. They're introducing products in this over the over the counter Joe medicines Joe. They're introducing such kind of products. Where where there is no competition at all and second uh these are the kind of products where you know there has been no uh, like you know there is no like I told you, there is no competition. You know, yeah, pay earlier there used to be no product over here. Yeah, you, you know, where uh, where uh, where uh, where where let's say a patient has a problem, but there is no solution for this. You know, so these are the kind of products that they're doing. You know, in this way, you know, they also don't have to worry about competition, worry about anything, right? Word of mouth say So this is this was mainly the update over the over the business, right? One thing that I really liked is the fact that unko occupancy bad they're planning to increase a bed a bed addition, jo hai. They're planning to increase it more and more. 
दे प्लानिंग टू डू वॉट एवर एफ आई ट्वेंटी सिक्स का केपिक्स जो था दे माई डू इट इन एफ आई ट्वेंटी फाइव इट सेल्फ ठीक है सो ओवरऑल ग्रेट कॉन कॉल एब्सोलूटली एब्सोलूटली फैंटेस्टिक वॉट एवर दे हैव टोल्ड इन एफ आई ट्वेंटी फोर दे हैव एक्जैक्टली एक्सिक्यूटेड इट दैट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट यू टू वॉच दैट वीडियो ऑफ माइंड वॉट एव डन इन एफ आई ट्वेंटी फोर इन 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 क्यू फोर ऑफ एफ आई ट्वेंटी फोर आई जस्ट लिख इट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स वॉन्स अगेन सो यू विल नो वॉट दे यू नो यू विल नो द पास्ट एंड यू विल बी एबल टू कनेक्ट डॉट्स हियर एंड नाउ राइट सो दिस इज वन थिंग द लास्ट थिंग आई विल टेल यू उन्होंने बोला था लाइक द इंटैक्ट द गाइडेंस फॉर दिस ईयर फोर फिफ्टी करोड एंड हंड्रेड करोड का पैट हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी करोड का पैट इज इंटैक्ट ओके सो नाउ गिव यू बेस्ड ऑन दैट ओके बिकॉज एस ऑफ नाउ इफ यू लुक जीना सीको का मार्केट कैप इज फोर फोर टू फाइव ठीक है फोर थाउजेंड फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ठीक है इफ आई एम कंसिडरिंग डेल डू हंड्रेड एंड थ्री करोड इन पैट द मार्केट क्या बोलते हैं द द पीक वन ईयर फॉरवर्ड का पीक कम्स अप टू फोर्टी टू ठीक है बट वी ऑलरेडी नो वॉट इज द गाइडेंस इवन फॉर नेक्स्ट ईयर दैट इज एफ आई ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स दिस इज एफ आई ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव एफ आई ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स में द मैनेजमेंट हेज टोल्ड दैट दे विल डू द टॉप लाइन Uh, somewhere between 650 to 750 crore, and the PAT margin that is there, it will increase. Abhi ka PAT margin this year, they will end it with 25 percentage. Going forward in the next year, the PAT margin can inch up to 27 to 30 percentage. Now, uske hisab se, if you do that, you know, agar mai bolti hu uske taking that guidance into 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 consideration, if you do that one year forward pay ka calculation, I'll just share the screen over here, and I will show you. Yeah. Okay. So here is the thing. This year, that is F I twenty five. They end the year with four fifty crore. Okay. Because they've already done uh, in H one, they have done half of it. So in I do not see why they won't be able to do in H two. Okay. Let's say they do this, and F I twenty six ka unka target hai six fifty to seven fifty crore. Okay. So if you look a year on year growth, me the the revenue growth will be forty four to sixty six. If they do six fifty crore, revenue growth will be forty four percentage. If they do seven fifty crore, the revenue growth will be sixty six percentage. Okay. That is one thing. Now. If you look at it, उन्होंने क्या बोला कि like pat pat margin जो है, they're planning to take the pat margin like like I told you in FI twenty five the pat margin they're targeting twenty five percentage. Going forward in the next year FI twenty six में pat margin होगा somewhere between twenty seven to thirty percentage. Now based on that there are there are four uh, four kind of pat estimate that you can get. ठीक है. Let's say now the pat is twenty pat margin is twenty seven percentage revenue six fifty crore. Then you will get the uh, FI twenty six ka PAT to be one seventy five crore. Let's say the revenue is seven fifty crore and PAT is twenty PAT margin is twenty seven percentage. Let me just write it over here. Right? If if that is the case. And revenue six fifty crore one ninety five. Agar PAT margin thirty percent hai, revenue seven fifty crore hai, then the expected PAT for FI twenty six is ah uh, two twenty five. How did I get this? Because um, let me just write here now. Yeah. How did I arrive at this PAT margin equal to net profit divided by revenue? So we know the PAT margin, we know the revenue. We can calculate what is the expected net profit. Now, taking off as of today. So, like I told you, the PAT can range between one seventy five crore, which is your worst case scenario, and the best case scenario, it can go to two twenty five crore. So, FI twenty five ka PAT kitna tha, which they can do over here this 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 year, it can range between one hundred and three crore to one hundred and twenty crore. So, agar ab is saal ka FI twenty five ka PAT, you compare it with FI twenty six, the PAT growth on a year on year rate. The PAT ka growth between sixty nine to one hundred and eighteen percentage. Okay, so based on that, if you take your one year forward ka P, let's say the market cap is four four two five, right? So one year ka forward P. Four four two five divided by one seventy five and four four two five divided by two twenty five, right? So one year forward P can lie between nineteen to twenty five for a forty four to sixty six percent का growth in it going forward for the next one and a half year, right? And उन्होंने बोला है also कि like you know uh, I because see the thing with this I'm just going to end this over here. The thing with this, I attended this con call live, but the problem is they're talking Hindi. I can understand Hindi, but when you talk numbers in Hindi, I don't understand. You know, because when you explain the numbers, ke like pachpa, nikka, ye, sikkis, and all, you know, it becomes very hard for me. I have to Google ke like what is sikkis, what is sataiis, right? So, uh, something similar to that range only. I, I remember Acharya Manish talking about, you know, they're planning to like five x a part in the next three years. That is what they're targeting. And this man, I'm telling you, he will put us, he will make heaven and earth one to make sure that his company will run away. He's very passionate founder and everything. 
everything you know and the execution record is on track i'm telling you i've been tracking this company since a time uh since uh, i think for two two and a half years right now you know and execution record is just just absolutely brilliant absolutely freaking brilliant over here you know like like crazy crazy uh you know uh, crazy kind of execution they do so overall a good set of results just to wrap it up guidance was 450 crore for this year and 103 crore in pat you see them they have done exactly half of it in this h1 the occupancy was supposed to be 50 percent for the entire year and this time you're seeing occupancy already at 50 percent in h1 in spite of the beds being increased right in spite of the beds being increased addition of beds we're still seeing the occupancy is increased we're seeing that the beds that is there is at 50 beds uh sorry 500 beds made 220 250 beds have been added and they're telling you know going forward they will add instead of 500 beds this year they might add even 650 to 750 beds depending on because they're looking to acquire a hospital okay so depending on the hospital size if that acquisition goes through then the beds could be 600 if they're acquiring a bigger hospital then it could even go to 750 so whatever the plans they had for acquisition in fi26 so they plan to take the uh the beds to 2100 beds by fi26 we can see that already happening in fi25 only okay that is there our pop is also increasing they are seeing the our at 8100 it can go up to 8600 even in this year only it might not go above 8600 because the management has no intention of increasing the cost over here they believe in providing a very affordable treatment to everybody everybody so that is another reason why you might not see an our pop increase from here whatever the increase you see going forward would be due to addition of beds it would be due to increase in occupancy that is how you would you would you would go forward and also the guidance continues to be remain strong for the next year uh, for this year they are on track to do what they have told the guidance continues to be remain strong even for the next year upcoming year now the only thing that is left is the execution and hopefully the execution remains on track the execution remains spotless as they have been doing for the last couple of years overall great set of numbers and i'm telling you all once again you know i just whoever is listening to this this uh, this video uh, again you know i just want you to go and go through the con call of gina seco of fi24 like last h h2 of fi24 and h1 of fi25 just pair just pair like one hour one hour and just go through even if you don't understand i just want you to observe the way he talks you know like the the founder is just pure pure brilliance you know the way he talks the way he conducts himself you get to know ki like you know like someone is talking from the heart like banda to itna itna acha pyar se baat karte hai matlab matlab dil se baat karna kya hota hai aur business ke bare mein passionate hona kya hota hai you know that that you get that feel you know you get that feel from you you'll be able to get that feel from here you know uh it, it's, it's just it's just really 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 nice call it's all always a pleasure to actually hear him talk so that's that anyways that's that for today's video i'll see you again tomorrow in another video shalom bye